mysterious, and mischievous. LeBron and Savannah James first started dating two decades ago. Back then, the king was far away from the throne. But as soon as he saw Savannah for the first time, he knew that something special was about to go down. Let's find out how the king seduced his future queen back when she was 16. LeBron and Savannah James are celebrating the 20th anniversary of their relationship. Before he became one of the best basketball players of all time, and she became an extremely successful businesswoman. The lovebirds were just two young kids from Akron. That's right, they weren't even majors when they first started dating. LeBron was this up-and-coming talent who, for most people, was on his way to NBA superstardom. And Savannah was this sweet 16-year-old cheerleader girl who also played softball. However, before they started building up the James Kingdom together, they were rivals thanks to their respected high schools. But representing opposing sides wasn't going to hinder their affection for each other. In the end, the rivalry between St. Vincent and St. Mary was nothing as dramatic as the one between the Montagues and the Capulets. When he first saw Savannah, the young man was instantly interested in her, and he didn't waste a second making his move. Through a mutual friend, LBJ asked for Savannah's number. Some people are born go-getters, right? Even though the king was lightning fast and making his move, Savannah had a few tricks up her sleeve too. She denied giving her number, but instead picked the LeBrons just in case. You know, as you do. One day, sitting by herself, she thought about the guy whose number she had. And then the rest was all downhill from there. LeBron invited Savannah to one of his games. Back in the day, Savannah was among the very few people in Akron, Ohio that weren't on the LBJ hype train. And seeing him play the very first time on the court had a natural impact on her. She was impressed with the support LeBron received from the crowd. The King's first move was an instant success. Savannah was awestruck. Together with a few friends, they went to an Applebee's the very same day, just after the game. It all went well at Applebee's, so the two had settled on another sizzling dinner date, this time for only the two of them and at Outback Steakhouse. On a side note, it's safe to say that before Taco Tuesday was the name of the game, Taco Tuesday! LeBron was all about grill. Or should we say, girl? <sighs> According to Savannah James, we should, because after having a good time at the steakhouse chain and driving Savannah home, the king went immediately back to Savannah's place. <laughs> I knew he loved me when I left my leftovers from dinner in his car. I'd totally forgotten about them and he brought them to me. I think he just wanted another excuse to come and see me. Savannah James. Now, whichever way you look at it, this is awesome. Did LeBron think, oh shoot, she must have forgotten this. Let me be the gentleman and score yet another point. Or did Savannah plan it all along? And this was a test of the future king's chivalry. Or was this just fate working in the young lover's favor? We'll let you come up with any theory you like on this. But whatever the case was, there's no doubt that the OG Splash Brother Eros shot his arrows with pinpoint accuracy that night. The young couple never looked back after their first one-on-one -on -one date. One of the biggest challenges they faced was back in 2004. That was LBJ's rookie season in the NBA, but the challenge had nothing to do with basketball. It was Brawny, their firstborn. Savannah was scared stiff with the surprise pregnancy, and where she was bawling, the king was keeping everything calm. I was very scared. I was bawling, but he said, it's not gonna slow me down, and it's not gonna slow you down. We're gonna keep doing what we have to do. Savannah James. <sighs> what LeBron and Savannah James built over the years stood the test of time and all the other troubles that come with stardom. Whether it was the King's chivalry, Savannah's all-star level tactics working to perfection, or the fate taking care of things, we're just glad that it all worked out.